It's for our documentary. Yeah, okay. it's for our documentary class. What nice. do you guys think about the men's track team? At St. Olaf College, one of the most recognizable and infamous groups on campus is the men's cross-country team. The team is recognizable for multiple reasons. They're one of the largest sports teams on campus, and they can always be seen walking, eating, or enjoying campus life with one another. They are also recognized for their various traditions which take place over the course of each school year. The sheer size of the team and the stories and rumors surrounding its members piqued the curiosity of myself, Latreva, and Ava all of whom decided we should explore within the St. Olaf community and find out who the St. Olaf cross-country team really is. Sometimes I hear like like weird things about them that sort of give me strange vibes. Like whenever I heard people talk about them, they'd say that they were like weird or doing weird things. I'm not sure, I'm not convinced that it's not a cult. <laughs> Just... I think that like it's good to have community. Some of the ways they go about it is a little weird. That's my honest opinion. This song says, "I thank God every day that I'm not a cross country kid because like, why?" And then so many. I think it's kind of ridiculous that I'll sit in the cafeteria together and only talk to each other. I just know they have tattoos together. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I honestly know nothing about that. Other than the tattoo. And frankly, I prefer to keep it that way. <laughs> Question from me, do you have the tattoo? Excellent. Yes, I do. Wait, can I get a... Yes, you can. Uh, yes. That's amazing.
and didn't have a school where I could run cross country and had like that team community, which was really important to me in high school. It was like that was like one of my criteria for choosing. For the first week, um, it's just freshmen on campus. The coaches bring the freshmen in, and uh, the upperclassmen come in later. St. Olaf has a really strong, historically good program that's always at the national meet cross country. Always sends a lot of guys running really fast on track. So um, this was sort of. Chaos of the team when they came in, and just thinking, oh, this is such a cool environment. Um, so it was definitely nice to have that group there, and to know that they that they wanted, you know, they wanted to meet me, um, eat dinner with me, run with me, um, and just really encouraging people to just like be who they are. So I knew when I was going to hear that I was going to be on the cross country team. And honestly, if it wasn't for the cross country team, I probably wouldn't be here. So.
as much time with your teammates as possible because your time with them is limited and there's no way you can ever get to know them as much as you might want to. This is also pure and very much appreciating the camaraderie stories. Running isn't pleasant in many situations. Um, and so we go out and we have hard workouts and you start trusting the people around you because you know they're putting themselves through the same thing. The amount of like different types of people we got on the team, it really taught me a lot about like how different people live and like learning from their experiences and it's been really fun. It's pretty cool to be friends with someone and then maybe realize how you're different from them instead of seeing how someone's different than me. It's hard to come friends. We have this huge community of, of people and like, you know, I have 40 great friends on campus just from day one. Um, that's an experience that you can't get. You can't get. So track athletes come in all shapes and sizes. It's really fun to see. I don't know. I, I just show up, do the work, and it's paid off really well for me. And I feel very grateful for that opportunity. Um, and I feel grateful for the coaching staff and the team that's been able to support me. Yeah, I mean, we're not perfect. We don't always get along. Sometimes we drive each other crazy. <laughs> It makes it exciting to show up. It certainly makes it easier to train and uh, show up to practice every day when you're surrounded by people that you like being around. And um, that's certainly helped with the um, with the training that I've needed to do. So I can actively look forward to practice, and that's that's. We set out with this film to understand why the men's cross country team holds the reputation of an odd, rambunctious, and disorderly group. The men's cross country team at St. Olaf is an incredibly tight knit group of people, all of whom love to have fun and have the shared interest of running really, really far. They're unapologetically themselves, which at times can land them in the poor graces of the St. Olaf community. But their intentions are never to cause harm but instead to create a fun environment for everyone involved. As we met with the members of the team, our curiosity transitioned to admiration. This is because the St. Olaf cross-country team, to its members, is more than just a team. They're a family.